dia guys, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Tahutu, and yes, I am the guy that with his family four years ago sold literally everything he owned, his house, his companies, literally everything, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, four years later, guys, coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal. In today's really short video, yes, I know yesterday I said also a short video that was 27 minutes. Today is short video, as I need to record a few educational videos as well. So I will keep this video below 15 minutes. Yes, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the Bitcoin price, sharing really cool charts, which looking if we could see a 21K or a 17K very soon. So that's very exciting to see what is going to happen. And yes, also looking at the DD BAM chart to see if we made profit yesterday with the DD Bam Bam indicator in the news part guys looking at Australia because they now just killed the cash ban of 10k also looking at the United States that does trying to create another crazy law on cryptocurrency and giving you an alert on a huge scam that is taking place at the moment with MetaMask so please be aware of the MetaMask scam watch the video till the end so you know what I'm talking about the sun is shining the weather is sweet so I need to be on the beach as well <laughs> no no it's really busy today I can't even enjoy the beach probably today and I am attacked by bulls or cows or whatever is on the back. You can see them nearing me. They came closer and closer. Is that a sign that these bulls or cows on the back just appeared? Is that a sign? Is Bitcoin going up today to 21K or are we going to fall to 17K? Let me show in the next couple of charts. So is this a bull or a cow, guys? Freedom! Look, I want to make my video, guys. And you're, he's licking his ass. So to keep it short, guys, let's start with the Bitcoin price. This part, bam. Yes, the bath where I bomb you with Bitcoin charts. Let's first take a look at Bitcoin. We're going to look at the Bitcoin price using this DD BAM chart, where you can see the Fibonacci retracement tool so that we see what the target was this morning when we entered along. This chart, bam. On this chart, guys, you can see that we entered this long around 19,100 this morning because we used the Fibonacci tool where we could beautiful retrace to the top in the last 45 candles to the bottom. I think it was the 54th candle we used where it was the top to the bottom. And we could see that the Bitcoin price this morning would go to the 1.0 level that would be around 19,450 US dollar. Bitcoin probably already reached this level because it's early in the morning. I'm recording this video. so probably we already saw that level. So with a leverage of 10, that would be have been like a profit of like 15% or something. So that's a nice profit on the early morning. If we would reach that target, would we stay in this trade? Would we expect Bitcoin to go even higher or lower? In my opinion, there's two possibilities today, or we will go to 20K or 21K in Bitcoin before Friday, guys, or we will again test the same level, the 0.5 level and break it, but come back again and then bam, fall down, maybe even to 17,000 US dollars. So be prepared, always have some buy orders ready in this lower area of 17,000 US dollar per Bitcoin, because like you saw in the last couple of days, we can have these wicks, bam, very deep, and then you buy Bitcoin really cheap because they return really fast up to the 18K level then again. That's the game you play. It doesn't cost you anything to put in these buy orders. If you ask me more about this short term, no time today. Let's zoom out a little bit to the long term so you understand not the freak out, but always the zoom out. Let's take a look at this really cool chart by Charts BTC. Bam! On this chart, guys, you can see how the Bitcoin price moved the two years after the halving. So you can see the halving and then the next two years, how did the Bitcoin price move after the first halving, the second halving, and now the third halving? The first halving of 2012 is the gray one. Then the green one is the 2016 halving. You can see this line on top of the chart. And then the orange line, that one is the halving we are in at the moment. So how are we performing the first two years after this halving? On this chart, you can see that it can take up to 350 days before we will reach the top of this cycle after the halving. So that's a year, that's next year, December, which would again be in line with everything else and all the other charts because 
every time the bull run ends in December. 2013 December, 2017 December, 2021, probably again December. And this chart is showing you the same. And if we would climb the way that we climbed after the first and the second halving, you can see that this orange line is going to climb to a Bitcoin price of 100,000 US dollar if we would repeat history. That's why I always say zoom out don't freak out see the bigger picture yes you can buy the dips you can dollar cost average into bitcoin every day when it dip a little bit and if you're a trader and you trade the game yes i understand that you worry about the minute charts the five minute charts the 15 the one hour the four hour but that is only when you're a trader if you're an investor that, ho that invests in bitcoin and just hodls the bitcoin till the end of the next bull run and then sells them in the top of the cycle to buy back cheaper again don't freak out on the minute and the hour charts zoom out and look at these charts for the traders let's jump into this chart the dd bam bam profit chart of yesterday so you can see how much profit we made by just following the dd bam bam indicators and yes of course by first reading the manual and yes of course by first watching the videos because there's more to it than just watching this green and this red flag but check this chart Bam! We traded with $200, around 1% of the Bitcoin guys, with a leverage of 10. And yes, yesterday again, we traded on Bybit. By the way, if you want to trade on Bybit, it's a really cool exchange where you can use trailing stop loss and all that stuff. Please sign up using my referral link because you will get a $90 bonus. Don't throw away those $90. It's free money. So sign up using that referral link. The first trade you could have done was a two in the night UTC. So, you know, that's a different time in your time zone. But you could have taken a short. The short would have been 21%. $200 would have turned in 240 US dollar. The second call by the Bam Bam indicator was a long. It was a 44% long. If you would have taken that long, you would have turned the 240 US dollar into 350 US dollar. Then again, there was a short. This was an 18% short. You would have turned the 350 US dollar into 415 US dollar. Then a very educational moment. You can see a long appearing on the chart we didn't take that long flag why didn't we take the long flag because we look at all the indicators that you get for free when you order the diddy bam bam indicator you can see that there is no volume in the market at that moment plus you can see that the amber line in the bottom of the chart you can see this margin called 2.04 the amber line is going to the top in the trinity when the amber line is in the top of this trinity we don't think it is a good long to take. When the amber line is in the bottom and the other trinity lines are on the top, then it could be a good long to take. But the next signal was a short. That was a short we took. We took 16% profit so 415 us dollar turned into 480 us dollar and then after that guys we took a long and that long was 21 percent and we ended up around 580 us dollar um, but we are still in the long at the moment so um, i think the take profit is around 19,460. so probably we will exit the long over there that will be again a huge profit in the last day trading with the dd bam bam indicator because we made from 200 dollar 580 us dollar that's three 380 US dollar profit please comment down below how much profit percentage wise this is for the one that answers the question correct how much percent profit we made with the Didi Bam Bam indicator yesterday the one that answers the question correct has a chance on winning a really cool Didi Bam Bam t-shirt because I'm going to give away a Didi Bam t-shirt a really cool one to one of you that gives the correct answer on this question how much percentage profit did we make with the Bam Bam indicator yesterday if we started with $200 and we end it with $580 comment down below that were all the charts for today guys yes i'm standing still because there are some cows in my way and i like to film in nature and i don't have much time today i want to keep the video short so bam go on didi so let's take a jump now into the blockchain news part this part bam The first news guys really cool news for australia congratulations alexander and all the other aussies over there you can now again buy bitcoins with ten thousand dollar or more in cash because they just lifted the ban on bigger payments than ten thousand us dollar in cash in australia so people can start to spend their beautiful hard-earned money freely again without that the government can punish you because i think the fines went up to twenty-five thousand us dollar if you accepted more than ten thousand us dollar in cash now everybody in australia can start to accept bigger payments than ten thousand us dollar in cash again because the 
Ben was killed, you can now spend more than 10,000 US dollars in cash in Australia to buy Bitcoin again, guys. Start to buy Bitcoin with all your cash money. I would really do it, and I don't think you will regret it in the next couple of two years, mate. Or how do you say it in Australia? Come on, mate, buy the Bitcoins with your cash money in Australia. <laughs> bad accent, really bad accent. Then guys, the second news item is very important. A scam alert, a huge scam alert. There is a fake MetaMask that you can download now on the websites and even Google is allowing these fake MetaMask websites, these phishing websites to advertise. So yes, if you Google MetaMask, you might end up at a phishing site where you try to open a MetaMask wallet and send your Bitcoins to, but they have your private keys. If you use those websites, they will empty your wallet before you know it. Bam, in a split of a second, Please be aware of this MetaMask scam. MetaMask has now 1 million monthly users, guys. So please be aware. Only download the software from the official MetaMask website. Don't Google MetaMask and fall for this, for this phishing website trap because you will lose your Bitcoins because they will have your 12 seed recovery price and they will know how to empty your wallets before you blink your eyes. So please be aware. MetaMask scam supported by Google because Google allows them to advertise. So please be aware. Last news guys, and I think these guys are nearing me more and more. Yes, I just looked back. <laughs> Hopefully they don't attack me because I'm talking so loud. The last news guys is about the US. Yes, the US again has a new law. Now they want to have this law and that all the stable currencies out there like US dollar theater, DAI, you know, all the stable cryptos that they now need to confirm to the same rules as all the banks. So they want all these stable coins now to obtain this banking charter, which means they need to have an approval from the Federal Reserve. They need to have an approval of the Federal Deposit Insurance Company, and they need to have approval of a bank regulator. That is not crypto anymore, guys. That is just like normal fiat. They are running, I don't know why. Really? Running, playing, they are happy, happy cows. So I'm going to turn around guys because I need to walk back. But that's, that means that the US now is forcing all these stable coins to do all these steps. Which man is like not crypto at all, which doesn't make it a stable cryptocurrency in my opinion anymore. It just creates a new fiat. But the cool part of this story is guys, I don't know what it is in the US mines, but they think that then when they make a law for the US, also about stable currencies, a law about stable currencies in the US, that they control all the world. I think those people there, on the high level in the US, they are still used to this time that the US had this financial control, that fiscal control all over the world, they will, that they were like the biggest there. I think they slowly need to start to realize that they are not there anymore. If you cannot open the stable coin in the United States, you will open a stable coin in Liechtenstein or in Holland or whatever country else. We are not tied to a country anymore. The world is going virtual, digital. We are becoming digital nomads and all that stuff. We don't care anymore. So all these companies that use stable coins, okay, then we don't target the United States. You are not the biggest anymore. Then we will target Europe, Australia, India, China, all the rest of Asia. What is it in the minds of these regulators in the United States that they still think that if they create a law, that the whole world will obey to the United States law? That's like, that's a long time ago. I don't think that the public cares about the United States laws anymore. There is, at the moment, blockchain and crypto is making a complete open economy, a complete open trading possible all over the world. And yes, that also includes cryptocurrencies, stable currencies, and all the other decentralized projects that are being built on the blockchain. You cannot regulate it anymore. Give up, stop it. Maybe you should focus on uh, how you can uh, scam all the people by doing uh, wrong voting systems and all that stuff now. But you know, when it comes to the money, we are going digital, we are going virtual. And yes, you did want this, but you didn't expect a currency like Bitcoin and all the other cryptocurrencies that can be hard forked out of Bitcoin to become this big and indeed to reach so many people and indeed therefore take the power back from you to the people again. So. Strange news from the United States that they always think that if they do a law, that the whole world will obey to that law.
I can't understand that mindset. But who am I? I'm just a long-haired dude walking in nature with cows here in Portugal, Lagos. That was all for today, guys. I don't have any more news. I want to keep it short. So I hope you really enjoyed the video today. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. And if you're up to it, yes, also join the huge Bitcoin family now on the Discord server. We already have 800 members all discussing blockchain, Bitcoin, and life. It's because a beautiful community that is there to help each other and yes we are incentivizing people to help each other because we pay families to the people that help other people that was all i can't add more to the family part at the moment guys because i don't have time and there will be a really cool bitcoin family episode again this friday on gogstein media you will love it again a lot of new footage that you haven't seen before also not in my daily videos because that is the goal to create a cool series that you can follow every friday about our normal bitcoin family life i want to thank you for watching today again always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in that life try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life is about thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again Bye.